Uh, joining us now on the Michigan Megacast is Kelly Waite, the Director of Admissions and Programs at Rose Hill Center, located in Holly. Uh, joining us on the Megacast. Kelly, thank you for being with us today. Thank you for having me. Appreciate having you on. So first off, for those that may not be familiar, we've had the Rose Hill Center on with us before, uh, but those that may not have watched that or may not be familiar with the work that the Rose Hill Center does, can you give us a, an explanation, a brief explanation about the programs that are available through the Rose Hill Center in Holly? Yes, so Rose Hill Center is a residential treatment center for adults who have um, mental health issues that they're trying to resolve. So our main goal is to provide treatment for folks, um, evidence-based therapy practices, and also we have a strong vocational component to our program as well. Um, we're on 411 acres. We have a working farm, a greenhouse, kitchen, and horticulture crews housekeeping crews, I'm sorry, um, that work throughout the program and they just learn how to live a functional life um, while recovering from their mental health um, issues. So there are many different mental health facilities throughout the state of Michigan uh, that deal with people with, a, with varying severity of mental health crises. What's, what's the difference between some of those and the place like the Rose Hill Center in terms of what programs are provided, your approach to supporting those that are uh, attempting to rehabilitate from serious mental illness and so on? So a lot of treatment is either outpatient or it's short-term residential, meaning 30, 60, 90 days. Rose Hill is set up to be a six to nine month program that teaches people how to rejoin a community in a consistent and meaningful way. So we run programs simultaneously with our vocational programs such as dialectical behavioral therapy, radically open DBT, um, we do CBT, we have um, autism specialists that come on campus and work with folks who are diagnosed with mental health issues as well as an autism spectrum disorder. And we also support people who have mental health issues um, and substance use issues at the same time as well. We're joined by Kelly Waite, the Director of Admissions and Programs at the Rose Hill Center, located in Holly, Michigan, joining us on the Megacast. And so for uh, those that will be um, We'll, we'll be having the services of the Rose Hill Center, helping them in rehabilitating uh, or learning to, to deal with their own uh, serious mental health conditions. Uh, who is, how do they get referred? Are they referred to the Rose Hill Center? Or are they admitting themselves? What is the process generally for being admitted into Rose Hill's programs? Well, we have a website, rosehillcenter.org, and that will tell you everything you need to know about admissions for yourself or a loved one. But we take referrals from all over the country, really. We work with and have good relationships with um, lots of other treatment centers. And, you know, every treatment center has their own specialty or their niche that they do. Um, so a lot of our referrals come from other treatment centers who are looking for that extended programming, that extended treatment. But you can just simply go to our website. Our admissions line number is on there, and you can call in, um, in that manner. We're joined by Kelly Waite, the Director of Admissions and Programs at the Rose Hill Center. Joining us on the Megacast, uh, again, it's rosehillcenter.org to learn more information. And uh, Kelly, uh, just recently, la uh, late last month, the center received a $50,000 donation from the Ethel and James Flynn Foundation uh, in, in a grant to support its ongoing work to implement what is called a, trans uh, a trauma-informed care environment within its comprehensive psychiatric treatment and residential rehabilitation programs. Can you tell us about TIC uh, and, and what, sort of, what sort of sets this treatment method apart from others and how effective it is? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so at Rose Hill, we affectionately refer to it as TIC. It's our TIC committee. So trauma-informed care, we got our first grant actually from the Flynn Foundation in 2019. And that was able to, that allowed us to, to train and provide education and tools for our staff um, to help them become trauma-informed. So the National um, Council on Mental Wellbeing assumes that every person um, has had a trauma in their life, right? So if we're trauma informed in the way that we deliver services and the way that we run our organization, then we have a little bit more of an ability to build trust and be transparent with those that we're treating um, and we're able to help just a little bit better. So this year we got um, the $50,000 grant and what we're doing is we are adding stronger leadership and supervision components to our culture through the resiliency-oriented um, training 
So that means that we're going to be creating systems that effectively respond to trauma and that we're going to be able to resist re-traumatization. So a lot of times when folks um, are struggling with mental health issues, they are having behavioral issues, they're having symptom breakthrough that family members don't understand or can't handle, and they um, they become involved with the law, they become hospitalized, they become court ordered to treatment and things of that nature. So when we're looking at tra um, trauma-informed care through this new lens, we're trying to understand the trauma that they've been through as well and not add any additional trauma in the course of treatment. We're joined by Kelly Waite. She is the Director of Admissions and Programs at the Rose Hill Center, joining us on the Megacast Rose Hill Center, located in Holly, and online at rosehillcenter.org. That is rosehillcenter.org. Learn more information also by calling them at 248-634-5530, 248-634-5530. So uh, the tick environment, it, it's a different approach than, it, than maybe more typically maybe more typically employed at mental health facilities, uh, long-term and short-term across the state and across the country. Uh, in, in implementing TIC programs at the Rose Hill Center, what have you and, and your colleagues found to, been, to have been the results of using this method versus some, some other methods of treatment and rehabilitation in the effectiveness of helping those patients of yours, uh, those clients of yours, cope with their mental health conditions and 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 learn those coping mechanisms that are so critical to living a normal life out in society despite uh, and sorry in spite of their mental health condition so trauma informed care i kind of look at it as like an umbrella that goes over all of the different treatment modalities that we use so we're still going to use all those different therapeutic modalities we're still gonna use our vocational programming, everything that we've um, had in our foundation so far, but trauma-informed care really looks at the culture and it looks at the um, way in which the staff interact with the residents and the way in which the organization interacts with all of the staff. So when you implement things like that, like a good example would be one of the initiatives that we're doing this year is that we have offices like everyone would have in their building, right? So you have a desk, the provider sits on one side, the resident or the staff sit on the other side. We're looking at getting um, more comfortable chairs that sit around tables in each of the offices so that the environment is more therapeutic. So it's just all the little nuances and all of the little ways that you interact with the residents and the staff in your organization and just making sure that it's a comfortable, supportive, safe environment for everybody psychologically and physically. And so, um, like any sort of training program, uh, psychologically, medically, or, or otherwise, uh, there is some training that, that is behind it. I would, I would imagine for the TIC program like this, because it is so focused on the context of one, of one person's trauma in their, mental health, in their mental health recovery and in their rehabilitation and their learning of coping me mechanisms, what kind of training goes into your professionals at the Rose Hill Center being uh, being ready to undertake uh, helping patients, helping clients through these tick programs? Mm -hmm. One of the biggest things that we do is we teach everybody how to recognize symptoms of trauma. And we teach everybody that um, trauma doesn't necessarily have to mean the same thing to me as it does to you. So if we were both on our morning commute to work this morning and we both got into a small fender bender, based on my trauma, I may have not been able to make it to work because I might have been too shaken up. But you being in the same sort of fender bender might have been able just to carry on. So we, we teach that trauma is is different for everybody but there's some universal symptoms that you can recognize like if somebody's shutting down if they're not willing to participate a lot of times when people are doing well we tend to look around them and see what is it that they're getting a hold of that's helping them do well in their life so trauma is the same way if somebody's showing symptoms of um, withdrawal, of increased agitation, of increased anxiety, looking within ourselves and figuring out what do we have going on in our environment that's contributing to that and what can we change? What do we need to keep? And what do we need to stop doing or start doing? So that is one of the big components of this training is just basically looking at what are we doing and how are we contributing to somebody's feeling of safety? Do you find that there are certain patients, certain clients that uh, tick programs may not be effective for or, or is this something that 
the Rose Hill Center and, and other organizations similar to it throughout the U.S., throughout the world, may employ in a, in a general sense? I think TIC is really for everybody because I think everyone can benefit from having more um, transparent, having more safe, having more collaborative work environments and treatment environments. Um, I do think that the more you get into it, the more you see what things need to change on an organizational level. And that's kind of what's brought us to the supervision and the leadership um, resiliency oriented teams that we're um, getting ready to start now. We're joined by Kelly Waite, the Director of Admissions and Programs at the Rose Hill Center, located in Holly, Michigan, joining us on the Michigan Megacast. Learn more information in a couple of ways. Calling their number at 248-634-5530, 248-634-5530, or visiting rosehillcenter.org. That is rosehillcenter.org. And so this $50,000 donation from the Ethel and James Flynn Foundation, it's not the first a donation that the Rose Hill Center has received from this foundation, uh, this grant of $50,000 to support the, the TIC programs. How important are these sorts of donations to organizations like yours to be able to expand your programs, uh, continue to develop programs such as TIC and other rehabilitation programs provided through your center in order to provide the best care as possible to those that will be admitted to the Rose Hill Center? As a nonprofit organization, this money that we receive from the Flynn Foundation is um, is just unbelievable. It's an unbelievable opportunity for us. We've worked closely and partnered with the Flynn Foundation for a while, and um, I think it might be because we both have similar beginnings. Both of both the Flynn Foundation and Rose Hill Center were founded by family members who were looking for um, mental health treatment and and best evidence, you know, evidence-based practices that were, um, that were just not available to the wider communities. And so both of our organizations, I feel, are working towards that goal. Um, so this money that we received is just, you know, it just does great things for us that we would not have been able to do, um, training that we would not have been able to receive um, as early on as we have um, if they weren't there to support us. Kelly, just another couple of minutes with you before we'll say goodbye today. For those that um, may not be familiar with the Rose Hill Center or, or how a mental health program like, like one might experience uh, in an organization, with an organization like the Rose Hill Center. Can you take us through a little bit of the process uh, that patients will go through when they, uh, when they are admitted to the Rose Hill Center, what, uh, through their treatment, and then eventually uh, when they are, re when they are um, discharged from the Rose Hill Center? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So when you come to Rose Hill Center, you begin working with your treatment team and you will have um, a case manager, a therapist, our psychiatrist is one of the best. Um, and you just work on stabilizing your medication, recognizing um, your symptoms, gaining insight and awareness. Um, and then the main goal of our treatment center is to help folks live with their symptoms um, as independently as possible. So you come into our program in what we call the residential rehabilitation program. And then we have various programs throughout your stay that will increase your level of independence as you go, but still provide that support that you need. Um, and then the end goal for us is to have folks discharged back into the communities in which they came and have a meaningful daily life, working, going to school, you know, interacting with your family and friends, having a good social life. And sometimes folks stay in our area and they come back and volunteer um, and just help the next round of people go through their treatment as well. We, we tend to have um, a good mix of both. Kelly, just another minute with you before we'll say goodbye. Anything else at this time that people should know about the Rose Hill Center, about its tech programs, or any other programs that are available through your nonprofit organization? Yeah, Rose Hill is always there to help. If you um, need to call, call into our admission line or that main line, and we can get you directed towards the service that you need. But also just know that um, trauma-informed care is for everyone. Trauma-informed care um, has been working with companies that are not necessarily in the mental health field. Um, and just recognizing how other people may be responding to the events going on around them, especially with everything going on right now, is just really important. Kelly, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.